You want to go right beside me? There's, is that Bradford? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> what a quality of people they have. <laughs> Hey! What's up, Kay? Good morning, boys! Hey. Hi! Hey, nice good morning. to see you! <laughs> hey! I'm Robert Way. Hey, I'm James. Nice to meet Hello, you. Hello, Robert. I'm Garrett. Hey, I know Garrett. I know who you are. <laughs> I got a hey, we green, got green. We'll come out here. We'll come out here. We'll come out here. Oh, this is just the regular. Yeah, the regular crew here. Thank you, are. <laughs> You got the chalk? Yeah. Chalk connect. What's up everybody? I'm Mark. What's up? Hey, I'm Garrett. This is great, the crowd we have in the square. Usually there's not this many here. I think it's great that so many people are gathered together here and that we can have an open dialogue and conversation. Yeah. Well, that's oh, all uh, I was Ian. trying to do. Mm -hmm. to ask some questions. Mr. Bernard. Uh, Freeman, thank you. Oh, yes. Yes, sir, Mr. Bernard. Um, oh, no, no, it's Freeman. Here's the point. It's Freeman. What is I've your viewpoint? I've got a voter point? ID with Freeman on it. I'd appreciate uh, it if you call me by my name. Is, is your is, name Dan? What is your viewpoint? on the fact that the Robin Hood is, uh, stole some property oh, from Disney oh, and didn't compensate him for it. But I would love to talk to you further about it. What's your name, Dan? I would like Robert you to answer Dan? the question I just asked. I'd be happy to. I just want to know your name. Is it Dan? And I'm like, you can call me Mr. Coldfucker. I'm sorry. Why are you threatening? I just got a video camera. Because you're holding an object in your hand. And it's very threatening. Perhaps you the should camera is threatening to you, Kay? Yes, I think it is. You just stepped Isn't up to me. Isn't that what you used to do? I think what are you I talking watched about? you step up to my husband. Actually, you stepped okay. up to Dan. You I just saw you. Yeah, I was trying to get closer so I could hear him. Copyright issue. Copyrighted image and used it without just compensation. 
Is that why you guys are out here over intellectual property? Why do you not believe in copyright? I don't know, why do you think we're out here? What's your intellectual what property? What does the sign say? I don't believe in intellectual property. It's an idea, it's a word, but... Um, I didn't bring a sign, I was thinking of chalking. Yeah, but when you invent you something... You just asked a question and you, I answered it. Yeah, but when you invent said. something as a product, isn't that using an intellectual... No. You mean using ideas? Like, well, I mean, I think, I like the idea of people fr thinking freely, but I think the idea of intellectual property actually constrains thought, because it prevents what you're able to do with your creative means. If you have a bunch of cartoons that you've been shown throughout your life and are culturally significant, I think that you have the right to re-edit them and reconstruct them in an artistic manner. You know, Sigmund Freud was the one who invented marketing and advertising. You know, it has to do with sight of people who want to buy stuff as soon as they see them. Well, it's like, where did the where did the ideas of intellectual property come from? I think they're fairly modern. Like in ancient societies, like people. Yeah, in ancient societies, I don't think human beings were fighting over ideas like like your ability to, uh, to you know, you couldn't copy an image. We didn't have technology, we didn't have means. So, uh, do you mind if I get a little closer? Um, back in the day, we didn't have technology, we didn't have the right, means. Right, right, which I think is pretty freaking cool because of the fact that people had to come up with ways to uh, get along and make things happen, right? Like building roads to get places. And we're, we're reaching... Like the tire, you know? right. right, well, would you say we're approaching a post-scarcity age? I mean, we're not anywhere near it yet, but would you say that the direction is, is that is that way? Well, I mean, that, that's a big that's a big concept, though. I mean, do you think it's a noble goal? Because you get a lot of people, like, right, right now living in this, this town, right? They've never even been out of, some people have never even been out of the state. I found that to be common. Right so, when a lot of people, like, I've had people I've taken out of the state and they think it's a whole new world, they don't even realize that it's a world out there beyond what they're used to, right? I grew up on the welfare system. The only thing I know, right, is the welfare welfare system, which I think is a big scam, and the military, that's it, man. The yeah. military is a welfare scheme unto itself. Well, it is. I mean, it's like a free job you for anybody. You you what is the, the FSB? What is that? Free state project. How does it take away your freedom? How does it take away your freedom? The free state project? You're not taking away my freedom. I'm glad to hear basically, that. Basically, the reason why we're out here is because of the way you guys approach the, the parking meter people, man. That Robin Hood thing has got to, like, some way you can get a com some kind of, like, compromise. So, here, what man. do you. All right, because, so, like, I could come down to your house and, like, walk, just follow you all day long and just be like. But I'm not doing that. that to you people. Off after a while, wouldn't that bother you? I'm not, to, I'm not going to people's homes. No, I'm not I following mean, them but around. I'm not to work. Do you understand, like, the nature of the position when you wear a keen police department badge that you're opening it's oneself? It's a job. It's a job. It is a job. You feed your family. Some and, people do jobs they don't want. And I respect the individuals that do those jobs to the extent that like you want to be a street sweeper, right? And clean the damn streets. I bet you that person goes out there and cleans clean the streets, that. you know, because he's proud of doing it. He may not like it, but you know what? Yeah, totally. He's still probably the best damn street sweeper out there. You know, and now you go out there and then you do stuff like this and the guy just cleaned the streets. So you think now it's offensive feels... to chalk? Do I what? Do you think it's offensive to chalk? I think it's free speech activity. It's, well, yeah, I think I mean, it's hey, beautiful. Let's pick a place to do it, you know. Don't, don't, don't do it. We don't go in front of a courthouse just because, you know, I mean, that's kind of well, instigating. It's, uh, doesn't a courthouse seem like an ideal location? I mean, we all pay for it. It's a common space. You do? You pay for it? You guys, you pay taxes? We're all forced to. You're forced to? You don't have a choice. It makes better video. So, let me ask you this. You've called the cops before. I've never called the police. I've oh. never... I know I you're the one that doesn't. You don't snitch. That's right. You're not the well, snitch. Would it, would is, would well, is well because what I'm right? saying is it's kind of a contradiction when... You're against the police, but then when it suits you, you what go ahead it? and let's use the police about, force well, to help you, whatever what? it is, right? It sounds like there may be a mischaracterization of my ideas if you say I'm against the police. Down. The free state um, do you know what I here to stay. do? You know what I went to school for? Do you know what I went to school like for? It? No, what'd you go to school for? Have criminal nice justice. Problem. Yeah, me too. I have a bachelor's degree oh, in criminology. Yeah. Afterwards, and I did an internship with the Merrimack County Sheriff's Department. Or Vermont. This is coming from the I don't know. It's. It's hard to talk over. Yeah. Are you really surprised in I'll wait till he's done. people who want more freedom? But I think it's a, a mischaracterization to think that we're against police or against the idea of people keeping peace. 
And um, I think that that's just the image that people get when we're out with cameras Your keeping an eye on law enforcement. We're not disrespecting the individual. Like the no, cop block no, thing. No, I was all like a couple of years ago. I really got into the cop block thing because of the guy who, who used to be the police officer. Oh, that's that's terrible. Meanwhile, keep bitching about yeah, it. Go. It only makes us look more relevant. Should that be that to me, should so that be signed Ian Freeman? Is the idea like you, you said you changed your beliefs on that or on what? On cop block or police accountability? No, no, no. I like I'm, I'm all for it, but you know, I I see like the cops now. They're getting uh, I see them online. You actually you know arresting people for filming, which I think is a bunch of crap. You should be able to film anybody anywhere as long as you're not hindering your jobs. You know. And do you feel that in Keene anyone does that, hindering the jobs of law enforcement? Yeah, well, the the parking enforcement. People are kind really? of, I mean, so hey, we could go online you got, today you know, you, find you got Lynn stressing out to the point where she didn't want to watch on you guys. And she never told us that. Like, we learned this in court. Which, what's that? She, we never learned any of that until she said so in court. Like, she didn't have right. it. She so chose not now, to But now you guys are still following them around, even though after you now you know that didn't bother her. So why are you still doing that? Well, I don't generally walk the park. Like, I will sometimes on Saturday and hang out with Garrett and James, but we always have friendly conversations. Jane. I know you guys, listen, I know you guys are, she's even said that, but it's just the fact that you're there, I mean, really, she would like a day off for you guys. So well, you know we've given them many days off. I know, but you should give them a day off every day. You know right, so I mean? you're basically asking us to quit. You don't have to quit, we don't want you to quit, because we want you to at least feel like you've won the, you've won the battle. Alright, so that way you'll stop. I felt like I was so never let's, in a battle. Let's, let's, let's compromise here and figure something, let's go do something more like we're doing here, instead of following them around while they're working. Let's, let's write up some flyers and stay in one spot. I think it's awesome that there's no parking enforcement going on today, that Jane's out here expressing herself. I, that's wonderful. I wish she'd do that every day instead of parking enforcement. But she needs to feed her, her family, you know what I mean? That's, that's the only way she makes a living. And I'm sure if you asked her, she... But you know what? That's none of your freaking business. What, what she's qualified for, she could be a scientist and work at the freaking sanitation department. Does that make it any bad, any worse? No. Is she a scientist? I'm just telling you. I, 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 come on, so now you're just being stupid. <laughs> come on, man. The, the thing is, I feel like the people who are being targeted by the city and the lawsuit are not people who are involved in anything that right. could be considered harassment. Right, but, you know, I just heard on the scanner for the last week about all the subpoenas that are going around now. For that court case, that's crazy, dude. Well, yeah, then the city's choosing to do it. People that don't even they're just walk in the street. The attorney, you know? oh, I know, I've seen you on the street. The attorney who's you. chosen to represent us. Was, yeah. Uh, they refused it based on the fact that one time he got on his radio and said, "Hey, Alan is over by the post office." So that means that. Yeah, but you know what that sounds like, though? It sounds like you guys are setting up a big, you know. It, it, it sounds kind of. Scary. We're setting up what a conspiracy to fill meters. No, 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 not a conspiracy. I used the wrong word. They do use conspiracy. You're they're calling us a. a uh, you know, when it looks like you guys are coordinating an effort, you really, it looks like you're really coordinating an effort to make somebody's lives miserable. You're not really just following them around and being like cordial. Well, Sometimes you are. It was like that. I think Pete actually went to the post office to mail out some cop block stuff and he happened to see Alan and was like, oh, hey, uh, I know you guys are looking for him. Well, he's over at the post office. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, and that, that was probably kind of stupid. I part. don't. I think it's because of what the Keen Sentinel has published, and also what the city manager has alleged in a letter to the editor before the lawsuit, that people get the wrong impression about what most of us who are out here are doing. And that's why I feel that uh, you know that image should be cleared up. That's why I'm out here today. I mean, yeah, I think right. it's awesome. Well, I like. I like. I mean, I'm finally Sorry, glad to I don't meet have you guys. Sorry, I list with me. <laughs> well, if you have a roster, you know. But yeah, I don't understand you must be why. Graham. I am Graham. I am glad to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. What's your name? Great. My name? Um, I can get back to you with that information. Okay. Well, I get at least it's clear who the accountable ones are here. Absolutely. And that's Graham Colson, by the way. Yeah, there's some people who aren't hiding behind. Well, I'm the one that started the free king from the free state. Oh, well, there are some like, people that aren't finally got cameras guys, stuck yeah. in their yeah. face all the time. And I'm glad I, I you decided approved my request to join. Yeah, yeah right, because okay, right. I actually like that. Yeah. Right. So it was kind of like making some sense, you know? You considered this stuck in your face. I don't know where you got that from, but... uh uh, close enough. Where I got what from? Not giving him permission um, for that. How you wrote that? What you did? What you wrote? My first post or the one that was like, just approved? What is putting approved. a camera in someone's face? face. I mean, oh, it's, a, it's a conversation I've been having, you know, for a few right, years. Right, right. Yeah. I like video it. where uh, Dr. David Berman followed me around with a camera and like literally stuck oh, it in my guy, face. Yeah. Like, that's sticking a camera in someone's face. I think that's what other, I think that's what a lot of freaking haters think we do, but I think they're pretty respectful distances. 
And people are usually further, actually. <laughs> Do you think that I harass or bully you? There's, there's a fine line there. <laughs> yeah. You feel that I do? I don't feel you bully me, but I do feel you that you harass me. You all harass me. Well, how could I alleviate that? People are very loud. I like harassing her. It's more fun for me. Simply because she won't let me push the button. There will be no parking enforcement enforcers working. Free parking. Uh, basically, all I'm doing here is like I think the way that you guys drop footers are performing, harassing uh, parking meter people. Is that what's going on? I think there should be a better way to do that kind of stuff. I don't have anything. I, I used to put points in the meters too, man. So what do you just consider think, harassing? See, now, we, now we're going to get into a subject that you guys are going to just turn around. I mean, everything I say well, is going to be turned around. Because, because harassment can mean a lot to anybody, right? Right. right. And when yeah, these guys have already you told you, you that they feel like they're being harassed, and you guys are still harassing them. Now, if your kids were running around and they were being harassed, I'm sure you'd probably say something to the people who are harassing the kids, right? If so, my kid were wearing a badge but it was kind of the department not, on it, I'd probably give okay, him shit so about it Okay, so because they wear a badge now and they work for the, that, that, that makes you them bad people that you so, guys got to go around no, with no. bad people. You know, I wear a leak badge. Would that make me bad? No. No, I know. It's, it's not about badges bad. making people bad people. It's about badges not granting extra rights. But and they don't grant rights. Their job's not to, to enforce, to grant rights to anybody like a police officer. Well, okay? they have special rights. Their job's rights. go look at a meter, man. <laughs> How, how, come on. Their job is to threaten people. Get up. How are they doing? How are they they threatening don't talk people? to people. How are they talking to you? It's a threat. No, it is. No, it's not. It's, it's part of the deal you in know society. You, the normal you come down here, you know you're going to pay a meter. Yeah, normal right? person well, knows if there's going to be a fine if you don't pay. you expecting you don't have to pay a meter? There are towns. It's called free will. They have a right. towns. Like, he's always talking about free will and all this stuff, right? But everybody parks. All right, it's their free will. Well, let me ask right. you a question. Yeah. You know? Oh, here we go. Do, do we have a choice yeah, whether yeah. or not to pay for the infrastructure? Yeah. No, we don't. don't. It's called property taxes, when you and pay it pays tax, for these parking spots. That, these no businesses, choice. these businesses right here, every time you do it, you take money away from the businesses. No, we because don't. We add money to the businesses. No, you're okay, stopping customers to from parking. All right, so they can go shopping. Yeah. Well, you know what Jane is doing? When they issue a ticket, they don't want to come back. Shop here. Well, what I would say about the idea of it being a, uh, a voluntary contract or a bill, it's not like a normal bill, and that's one of my major issues with it is it's not just a $5 bill. If it was just a $5 bill, it would be a little different, but it's a $5 bill that turns into a $10 bill, a $20 bill, a $40 yeah, bill. Yeah, if you don't pay it within a certain amount of time. But does Walmart do that to you? Like if oh, I've seen it happen. You yeah. have. They've towed, exactly they've towed right. cars from single moms young cars. single mothers yeah, who got their car towed. Saturday. Saturday. Um, making payments, and she had to be somewhere. She had her baby with her, and they just took her car. It's kind of yeah. like when you get in trouble and you have to, you get, say, like, you know, you got to pay a fine, and you don't pay the fine, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know when you have to pay the fine that you're going to have consequences. For so it, it, this girl probably, you don't know anything about this girl, this single mother, right? Probably frivolous with the money and didn't pay her bills that she knew she had to pay. I mean, Does I'm that not, make it okay, though? Well, it makes it okay when you, you neglect to do the thing, the responsibilities as an adult in your life. You don't. There's consequences. And, hey, that's just the way it is. Yeah. But you're okay? You're okay with that? Them one, taking her car? My I'm, one sure, I'm sure that they, uh, they are made Are you taking a, people's you know, pictures for some kind of a roster? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, 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 I'm really, I'm really yeah, interested in what you have to say. That'd be cool. I mean, we got well, I'm just, just talking. Talking. kind of funny Sorry, because he's talking about the pictures for a roster, but all, 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 all you guys go on the website and post all the police papers with their phone numbers, their call signs. Yeah, their business phone numbers, of course. you know, but I mean... But don't you think that's great that people... Isn't that I mean, that's kind of like, I mean, not Well, I love it that if I've had interactions with the police before and I didn't know who the person was, and then afterwards I'm like, who is that officer? I need to contact him. And it would be great if I could go on the Keene Police Department page and see all the police officers. They don't have But they don't have that. So Keene Cop Block has put that out there for people so that they can be like, oh yes, that's the officer right, that I met. Right.
James tells me you guys had a great dialogue about religion the other day. Yeah, I don't... It wasn't a big, long dialogue. I just asked him if he believed in God, and he said no, and he asked me if I was a Christian, and I said yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, myself and James are both former Christians. Yeah, he did say that. I was raised Catholic. I was raised Catholic, too. I was always very bored by Catholic Mass. I found it to be just like sit, stand, kneel. Like there wasn't any interaction with the audience and the, and the authority. I found it very depressing because they made me feel like no matter what you did. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the church I went to really painted it that way. Like there wasn't much talk of hell or anything like that. But. The concept of hell is one of the things that really made me question the whole concept of God. Like, why would God create a place that's, like, the worst possible thing and send people there? And the eternal aspect of it, too. It's like, if something's really bad, like, for a finite amount of time, like, eternity can never... Like, you can't justify, like, treating a, a temporary thing with an eternity. It's kind of crazy. Whether or not human beings had free will was another thing that made me question the concept of God and, like, as it's portrayed. Because, uh, like, do you believe that God, as you, like, as you believe him to exist, believes or, or knows him? What? I promised her that I would find you today. Aha! <laughs> Okay, what was your Do question? you think that uh, the concept of God, like, whatever that entity may be, would know everything that is, like, going to happen, like, as knowledge of all events? Yeah. And you believe that you also have free will? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> So, uh, my question is, if you believe that God knows everything, He knows your entire life. Like, let's say He's seen the movie of your life, so to speak. Do you believe that? He's written the story of your life already, before you're even born. Okay, so, <laughs> do you believe that you have free will as an individual? Yes. While I simultaneous... believe He knows, well, already, He knows already what my choices are, and what my choices will be. Okay, so... That's not really you making the choice, then. Yes, it is. He didn't... De he... He didn't... He doesn't design me to make the choices. That's my own choice, to make the choices. <laughs> he just already knows what they're going to be. Bradford's yelling my name over there. I wonder what that's about. Well, that, see, that's a, a big like, contradiction I have an issue with, because you can't make the choice if there's only one way for it to turn out. So, trying my best not to be redundant, I guess I'll ask it this way. <laughs> How could you make a choice that's not the choice you're not already scripted to have made? I don't have any more. I've got to go down and get some. That's where I'm oh, getting. Right. I've given them all to you. <laughs> you had four treats already today, dude. <laughs> given them all to you. If, if there's like a script somewhere that says all the choices you're going to make, then how can you make a choice that's not one of those choices? It's like you're you're enslaved to make those decisions and those choices. Well, I don't look at it that way. I mean, because that's what free will is. If, I feel like if I really had free will, if I really had free will, that there's a variety of things I could do, and it wouldn't be like one script I had to follow. And if it's out there somewhere that there's a script I have to follow, <laughs> Because I think of the analogy like watching the movie of your life. Like if God's seen the movie of your life, then it can't end any way but how that movie has been scripted to end. And so like if you've seen a movie, you can watch it a million times, it seems like the characters don't know what's going to happen. Oh man, these people and their crazy perceptions of Robin Hood. Um, if you've seen like 
if somebody has seen the movie of your life, if the movie of your life exists out there somewhere, then you don't have free will. So, like, that was my, like, my perception of it. When I started thinking of it that way, I was like, wow, yeah, there can't really be... Nobody can know if there's a such thing as free will. Like, nobody can predict the future. If you could predict the future, then nobody would have free will. Have you ever, like, thought of it that way? Wow. People using profanity is awful. Um I think your your life is, I don't know really know how to explain it, but God has said, okay, this is the, the life you're going to lead. And on that journey, you're gonna have choices. And you're gonna either choose this way or this way. But you will learn by those ones that are mistakes. You are going and that's how you um develop as a person. That's who makes you who you are today by the choices that you make are your choices. They're not his. He he just gives you the two options. Either you're gonna go this way or you're gonna go this way. And you decide right. when you come to that which way you're going to go. And if you learn from the mistake that you made when you choose the wrong way. Yeah, I, learning from mistakes is definitely like a big part of people's mental evolution. But like, with back to the movie script aspect, like Adam and Eve was a setup if you think about it. Like God knew exactly what Adam was going to do, and he put him there to do it. Where the story is portrayed as though Adam is like this guy we should all be ashamed of here. He represents human fallibility and all that. When really he was just a guy set up to fail by like this big you know hierarchical leader, this anthropomorphization like of a of an entity. But as I've studied religion, like when I got into college, I started studying more and more like local religions, and I found that as time progressed, it seemed that people made more of like a human image out of God, or like what, what like different societies would call God. Like it started off maybe as being more like animal spirits and like natural powers and like the wind and weather and things like that. And it seemed like as time progressed, like humans went in a direction where they wanted it to be like the human image. Jesus is what made people start to see him as well, I guess that's one way of looking at it, but I don't know, I don't think there was anything necessarily like special about or miraculous going on in that section of the world like 2,000 years ago. Like some people believe that Jesus was actually God, came back, came in, in the human in image and other beliefs, as is in the Bible, is that God chose to send, have a son that came here to be born. So there are two beliefs, and the Catholic belief believes that they're all one: God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, the Trinity thing. It's like they don't really explain it. It's one of the mysteries. When you want to fully understand how the universe works, we have to have the metal to say, the way I see the world may be incomplete. We have to have the metal 